Midfield, Marion L. Steele and Bedford meet on the Nordson Academic Challenge. Welcome to the Nordson Academic Challenge. And now, here's your host from News 5, Rob Powers. Hi, everybody. I'm Rob Powers. Welcome to the Nordson Academic Challenge. The challenge today is very simple. These three teams compete for points by answering questions covering math, science, history, and other topics as well. First, we take a look at the team standings right now because the top five scoring teams this season will share in a total of $20,000 in grant money from Nordson. The top three scoring teams will then return for our championship finale and compete for a top grant of $6,000 for their school. We get started tonight with our opening match, the lightning round. In this round, all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We will subtract 10 points for an incorrect answer or no answer. We start each team with 100 points. Everybody ready? Deep breath. And here we go. All answers in this round will begin with the letter H. With atomic number number two, this is the second Marinelle Steele. Helium. Helium is correct. At the tip of South America, you find this cape. Marion Steele. Horn. Horn is correct. This is the oxygen-bearing protein in red blood cells. Midview. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is correct. This is the capital city of Finland. Marion Steele. Helsinki. Helsinki is correct. This British prince married Meghan Markle last May. Bedford. Prince Harry. Prince Harry is correct. This physicist wrote A Brief History of Time. Marion L. Steele. Hawking. Hawking is correct. This was the last state admitted to the Union. Midview. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. Tokyo is located on this largest Japanese island. Honshu. Midview, correct. <laughs> and he founded and named a Pennsylvania chocolate company. Midview. Hershey. Hershey is correct. And for our final lightning round question, we go to Leah Neff Hepner from the Summit County Historical Society. One of the treasures owned by the Summit County Historical Society is the John Brown House, where the noted abolitionist lived before he made his historic raid on the government arsenal in what West Virginia town? Steel. Harper's Ferry. Harper's Ferry is correct, and that's the end of round one. We will be back with more Norts and Academic Challenge right after this. Norton is honored to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We're a global industrial technology company with a long and proud history of giving back to the communities where we live and work. We donate 5% of our U.S. pre-tax profits to charity every year. Over the past 30 years, the Norton Corporation Foundation has donated more than $100 million and our employees have volunteered more than 100,000 hours. And now we're pleased to support the legacy of Academic Challenge. Thank you all for watching and the best of luck to all the participants. Today's judge from Cuyahoga Community College is Community Relations Manager Erica Bell. Erica, thanks for being here today. And welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Time now to get back underway with hot picks. One at a time, I will ask each team eight questions. A correct response in this round is worth 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer here. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. First up, the team from Midview. Midview, a nationally recognized as a project lead the way school and offers many AP, accelerated and college credit plus courses as well as a variety of academic and extracurricular activities. And to pick your questions, we go to Gabrielle from Marion Steele. One through four, which ones would you like? Four. Four, packet four. And remember these questions are just for you. Ready? Here we go. The framework for the Statue of Liberty was designed by the same French engineer who built and whose name was given to what landmark Paris Tower? Eiffel. Eiffel Tower is correct. Because of the silt suspended in its waters, what color names the Chinese River, which is formerly called the Huang Ho? Yellow. Yellow is correct. At a party in early England, what legendary magician might have pulled a rabbit from a hat for the entertainment of King Arthur? Merlin. Merlin is correct. Okay, for your science question, take a look at the monitor. Sublimation. Sublimation is the direct conversion from the solid state to gaseous state without going through a liquid state. Which of these substances will readily sublime? Iodine. Iodine is correct. 
To prevent damage from algae, Columbus covered the wooden hulls of his ships with what metallic element, whose symbol is CU? Copper. Copper is correct. The title of Sir Thomas More's famous book has come to mean what perfect place, an ideal society where poverty and injustice do not exist. Utopia? Utopia is correct. Okay. For your math question now, take a look at the monitor. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 80. 80 is correct. All right. This is for the bonus points. Big question. Presidents have received some unusual gifts, including a chair made out of bottle caps, a present received by what 33rd chief executive? Answer? Roosevelt. Truman is the answer we're looking for there. Okay, nice job. Nice job, Midview drafted. We drafted Midview. All right, team number two now from Marion L. Steele. Marion L. Steele students participate in a wide range of programming that includes college preparatory electives in music, art, theater, world languages. For your questions, we go to Brayon from Bedford. One through three, Brayon. Which envelope would you like? Two. Two. Okay. Marion Steele, remember, these questions are just for you. Ready? Here we go. In the Middle Ages, it was believed that the Archangel Michael oversaw what planet nearest the sun? Mercury. Mercury is the correct answer. Scientists on a remote island have found the bones of a prehistoric female hominid so small she's been nicknamed for what small J.R.R. Tolkien creatures? A hobbit. Hobbit is correct. In an effort to encourage marriage, Bachelors over age 30 lost their right to vote in what militaristic Greek city-state that often warred with Athens? Sparta. Sparta is correct for your science question. Take a look at the monitor. Hydrogen is the lightest gas. Which of these elements is the least dense metal? Answer? Lithium. Lithium is the correct answer. Unfortunately, there were no TV cameras around in 1923 when archaeologist Howard Carter unsealed the burial chamber of what ancient Egyptian king? King Tut. King Tut is correct. One of the most famous opening lines of any literary work are the words, Call me Ishmael, which began what novel by Herman Melville? Moby Dick. Moby Dick is correct. For your math question, take a look at the monitor. Which of these numbers is evenly divisible by nine? Answer? Answer? 236. 423 is what we're looking for there. Historians have not devoted much ink to the Battle of Inkerman, which took place in what same 1850s war that included the charge of the Light Brigade? Need an answer. The War of the Roses. Crimean War is what we're looking for there. Good job, Steele. Our final team today is the team from Bedford. Bedford offers its students a wide range of courses, including college prep, honors and advanced placement, plus career and technology education opportunities. We go now to Brent from Midview to select your questions. Brent, we have one and three. Number three. Number three. Okay, Bedford, these questions are just for you. About five weeks after General Lee surrendered, a final Civil War skirmish took place in what Lone Star State, the westernmost of the Confederacy? Uh, Texas. Texas is the correct answer. Studies of loud sound indicate that the threshold of pain begins at how many decibels, a number equaling six score? 100. 120 is what we're looking for there, 120. The Union gained a spy, a scout, and a nurse in what African-American woman who had rescued over 300 slaves as a conductor on the Underground Railroad? Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman is correct. For your science question now, take a look at the monitor. Which of these bones is found in the spinal column? Coccyx. Coccyx is the correct answer. Women were excluded from track and field Olympic events until 1928, when the summer games were held in what largest city in the Netherlands? New Zealand. Amsterdam is the answer there. Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart and Dostoevsky's Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment both describe a man's self-torture after committing what brutal crime? 
Murder. Murder is correct. For your math question now, take a look at the monitor and evaluate this expression uh, taking positive roots. One. One is the correct answer. The War of the Running Dogs was a name given an anti-British rebellion in what Asian country whose capital is Kuala Lumpur? Japan. Malaysia is the answer we're looking for there. Bedford, good job. That's the end of our round. We will be back with more questions and more answers right after this. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we begin our next round, we recap the scores so far. We're in a good one here. Bedford right now in third place with 210 points. Marion Steele in second place with 270 points. And with 280 points, leading the way right now is Midview. But anything can happen right now. It's time for the picture perfect round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. A wrong answer or no answer, that will cost you. 10 points. All three teams play. So hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Everybody ready? Here we go. This Japanese print depicts rhubarb, a plant whose wild variety grows abundantly along the banks of what V initialed Russian River? Answer the Volga. The Volga. Choice now the small oscillations of a simple pendulum may be said to be which of these? Midview. Simple harmonic. Simple harmonic is the right answer. The binding on this book bears the insignia of the first wife of what French monarch known as the Sun King, and I needed the number. Marion Steele. Louis the Fourteenth. Louis the Fourteenth is correct. Look at the monitor and solve for X. Marion Steele. 238. 238 is correct. This is what slave who made history when he sued for his freedom, Bedford. Dred Scott. Dred Scott is correct. Choice now, jellyfish stings, which can be deadly, emanate from nematocytes, flagella, or cilia. Midview. Nematocytes. Nematocytes is the correct answer. Here you see an 1894 painting of a quiet pond named for what de-initialed city, the capital of Ireland? Steele. Uh, Dublin. Dublin is correct. On one of his three voyages, Columbus reached the South American area that is now what country whose capital is Caracas? Steel. Venezuela. Venezuela is the correct answer, and that is the end of our round. We'll be back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Let's welcome the team advisors now from Bedford. It's Dana Fletter. From Marion Steele, Beth and Mitch Gillum are here today. And from Midview, we have Michael Filippiak. Thanks so much for being here, and thank you for being with us. All right, now it's time for our Mix It Up round. One at a time, I will add, ask each team six questions. A correct response here is worth 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer here. Any team answering all six questions correctly, 25 bonus points. Those are going to be big. And Midview, you are up first. Ready? Here we go. To strike the right note, see if you can find hidden within this sentence what type of paper that turns red with acids and blue with bases. Type of paper. Litmus. Litmus is the correct answer. If you took a circuitous journey, it would be best described by which of these adjectives? Roundabout. Roundabout is the correct answer. Now stir up the letters in this cooking term to name what disease sometimes called hydrophobia, that is transmitted by the bite of an infected animal. Rabies. Rabies is the correct answer. You would check out this volume of an old encyclopedia to read about what Roman goddess of the hunt associated with the Greek Artemis. Diane. Diana is the answer here. You will find all of these in your history books, but not in this order. Please arrange them in chronological order, beginning with the earliest. Federalist Papers, Compromise of 1850, and Social Security Act. That is correct. This is for the bonus points. These are the words of what man who served society as our first Treasury Secretary before dying in a duel with Aaron Burr? Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton is correct, and that's good for the bonus points. All right. Good job there. Up next, the team from Marion Steele. These questions, again, 
just for you. All ready? Hidden in this phrase is what word used in geometry to refer to a line that touches a circle at only one point? Tangent. Tangent is correct. You would not want someone to call you insipid because insipid has which of these meanings? Very stubborn. Lacking excitement is the answer there. Please rearrange the letters in this sleepy anagram to name the wide awake building that is the headquarters for the Department of Defense. Pentagon. Pentagon is correct. This is the volume of an old encyclopedia that would have information about what mythical Greek titan who gave fire to mankind. Prometheus. Prometheus is correct. This city, straddling two continents, has had several names. Please put these names in chronological order. Byzantium, Constantinople, Istanbul. That is correct. This sentiment was expressed by what Union general who burned Atlanta while marching his troops through Georgia? Sherman. Sherman is correct. Good job, Steele. Okay, and finally now, the team from Bedford. Again, these questions for you. Set? Here we go. It is no secret that you will get 20 points if you can find in this phrase what light-sensitive membrane that lines the inner eyeball. Retina. Retina is correct. Since fame often proves to be fleeting, it can be best referred to by which of these adjectives? Insurgent. Ephemeral is the answer. Ephemeral. The letters in this phrase can be rearranged to name what mathematical realm of numbers that are not real? Imaginary. Imaginary is correct. You would look at this volume of an old encyclopedia to read about what legendary magician who was part of King Arthur's court? Merlin. Merlin is correct. Please place these three conflicts in chronological order. Peloponnesian, 30 in Persian. That is correct. Final question. These are the words of what French general whose 1812 retreat from Russia is a famous event in military history? Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte is the correct answer, and that is the end of our round. We will be back with our final and deciding grab bag round. That's coming up right after this. For complete information about everything academic, visit us online at news5cleveland.com slash academic challenge. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Now, before we continue, we recap the scores right now in third place with 320 points. Bedford with 410 points. In second place right now, Marion Steele. And leading the way right now with 445 points, Midview. But now it is time for the grab bag round. And in this free for all, every correct answer is worth 20 points. A team, though, will lose 20 points for a wrong answer or no answer. We also have some visual questions. Those will be worth 30 points. Now, be careful here because an incorrect answer will cost you 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams, and this is it. Set, hands on your buzzers. Here we go. Lovers of Irish music owe a debt to Samuel Lover, who wrote a song about what S-initialed green clover, that's an Irish emblem. Midview. Shamrock. Shamrock is correct. To see a chariot race in ancient Rome, you would have gone to a stadium whose name links steel. Coliseum. Circus Maximus is the answer we're looking for. You should all be aware that you cannot use bitcoins to make political contributions in what Tar Heel state? Steel. North Carolina. North Carolina is correct. On the monitor now. These tourists are speeding through the waters near Bridgetown, capital of what Caribbean island? Answer, Barbados is what we're looking for there. It makes alphabetical sense that the countries of Zambia and Zimbabwe are separated by what Z-initialed river? Z-initialed river. Zambezi river is what we're looking for there. Now we have a choice for you. A coagulant frequently added to water to remove suspended sediment is copper nitrate, zinc chloride, or aluminum sulfate. Chloride. Bedford, excuse me? Zinc chloride. Aluminum sulfate was the answer there. The clarinet provides the theme associated with what boy who meets a wolf in an orchestral work by Prokofiev? Steel. Peter. Peter is correct. On the monitor now. The girl and her young brother 
live in what small South American country where Paramaribo is the capital? Paramaribo is the capital of Suriname. Some historians say that Sam Wilson, a beef supplier during the War of 1812, was the model for what symbolic American figure dressed Midview. Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam. Uncle Sam is correct. The sum of two consecutive integers is 21. Name either integer. Steel. 10. 10 is correct, or 11 would have done. The nation of Cambodia honors its history by picturing on its flag a massive religious complex with what two-word name meaning Temple City? Answer, Angkor Wat. On the monitor now. This area at the tip of Manhattan has what name that identifies a storage apparatus producing electric... And that's our final buzzer. We will not get to the answer there, but we will get to our final scores right now with 300 points in third place, Bedford. With 450 points in second place is Marion L. Steele. And winning tonight's academic challenge with 485 points, it's the team from Grafton Midview. Be sure to join us next time. We will feature teams from Crestview, Highland, and Shelby. Good job, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm Rob Powers, and I'll see you soon for another Nordson Academic Challenge. After a judge's review of round four, Midview finished the match with 440 points. Steele wins with 450 points. This has been the Nordson Academic Challenge.